well, delighted to be here with the local manager, David Weir, who's going to do an excellent job and has started very confidently here at, uh, and a popular man down at uh, Sheffield United. But, of course, I remember him more as a, an international player for Scotland, where he excelled in both positions, mainly at right back, I'm afraid, because of the shape we played. But if you think of the goal we scored in the World Cup, and that was a great pass that uh, Craig Burley scored against Norway because David took on board the pass between the left-footed left-back and the right-footed left-centre-back. So it went right through and, uh, you know, an intelligent guy like that mm -hmm. could take the instruction on board and put the pass exactly. I think it's the most difficult ball to defend if you've two centre-backs and men, most of them are right-footed. So we've got that goal, but uh, throughout his career with Scotland, you couldn't get a more admirable and loyal and committed player who played except I can't think of David Weir ever having a bad game so and I mean that quite sincerely not just because he's bigger than me and he's standing here but now here and I think uh, David should give his opinion maybe on what he's seen here the first half yeah David obviously we're watching the 21s just now so what have you thought of the first half yeah, I'm obviously disappointed to be 2 nil down you know it's never nice when you're playing against England you want to be in the game and competitive and Got off to a bad start, you know, scoring England scoring after I think less than five minutes, so that was always going to be uphill after that. So it would be nice to get to half time and you know still have be in the game, but that second goal just kind of killed it a little bit. So we need to get out and get a goal early in the second half and make it competitive again. And just because also we're building up to the game tomorrow night, 99 yeah. is the last game you played in that. We won one nil. Yeah. Give us some of your memories from that game. Well, to be honest, obviously Craig was a manager, and Craig, you know, we lost the first leg of the tie two 0 and that was a blow, you know, because we really we, th we thought we had a, a decent chance. So the, to lose that game 2-0 um, was a blow. And, but we also had the game back down at Wembley, you know, very soon after. And, you know, Craig was instrumental in saying, you know, it's not over. And, you know, he genuinely put a bit of belief in it. And I think England had kind of thought they'd done it, done enough and were basically qualified. So uh, we turned up, we went down to London, obviously, and stayed and, and prepared properly. And, you know, we're, we're looking forward to it. It was old Wembley at the time. And, fantastic atmosphere full of you know Scotsmen and Scots women as as you would imagine so it was a fantastic atmosphere a night game at Wembley just before it closed so and we went down there with the underdogs but on the night played really really well and um, Don Hutchinson got the goal from a Neil McCann cross um, and we were well in the game you know Christian Daly had a header late on that would have made it 2-0 that somehow they managed to scramble off the line and you know you just get a feeling as a player and I'm sure Craig was the same as a manager that if we'd have got that goal then they were sort of on their last legs, they were hanging on and then they looked like they'd ran out of steam and we were on the up but you know, unfortunately it was a, you know, so near but yet so far and it was a bit of a hard luck story but it was still a great experience to go there and win 1-0 uh, and John Collins, you know, some famous players, it was John Collins' his last cap and I remember you know, he was, I was at Everton with him at the time, you know, so it was a great and fitting into to his international career.